My name is Emily Ruppel, and today I am educating my audience member, Aaron, on presidential candidate Bernie Sanders. Thank you, Aaron. You're welcome. The presidential election is a time of high tension in America. Many people feel that our two-party system has failed them and that democracy is not what it used to be. Therefore, the voter turnout is at an all-time low. And in order to keep that hope going, we have presidential candidate Bernie Sanders. And he has started a revolution. He does describe himself as a democratic socialist. And if you can just uh, ignore the word socialist and see what he, what he stands for, you might see that he actually has a great plan for this country. According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, the definition of a socialist is any of various economic and political theories advocating collective or governmental ownership and administration of the means of production and distribution of goods. And according to the Oxford Dictionary, socialism is a theory or system of social organization based on state or collective ownership and re regulation of the means of production, distribution, and exchange for the common benefit of all members of society, advocacy, or practice of such a system, especially as a political movement. Many people are surprised to hear that America has socialist examples. Collective ownership is where the citizens pay in to buy the program per se, um, that the government then controls. Just like taxes, we pay the money, the government controls the programs. The military is an example. Schools, parks, libraries, museums, zoos, the VA system, prison system. These are all examples of socialism when it comes to democratic socialism. And Many people enjoy these services. Many people would never know that that is considered socialism. So there you see Bernie is not too far from the American philosophy and how we live our lives. And now we're gonna talk about his policy platform. Climate change has been a big concern of his for many years, and he supported the legislation to tax carbon emissions, carbon and methane emissions, excuse me. He also stands for equal pay for women. Women have been making on average 77 cents per every dollar that a male works in the same position. And he also believes that women should have choices about their health made by them and their doctor and not the government. He also believes in job creation, unionization, and working with trade policies that benefit the American workers. He wants to rebuild our infrastructure, infrastructure by investing $1 trillion over five years time which will also create 13 million jobs. He would like to raise the minimum wage to $15 over five years time. When the minimum wage was initially set, it was set so that people could live a comfortable standard of living. And unfortunately, everything in this world has risen in price, but the wages has not, have not risen to match that need to make a living. He also wants to make college affordable for everyone by offering free community college. And he believes that healthcare is a right that we all should have, and that would be through a single payer healthcare system. And that includes 12 weeks of paid family and medical leave, two weeks of paid vacation, and seven days of paid sick days. And that is part of the Family Act, which he co-sponsored, that basically works like Social Security and Medicare. It pulls money out of the employee's paychecks. Um, it's equivalent to a cup of coffee a week, so not too much if you ask me. He also wants to make sure that everyone knows that we are one of the, we are the only one out of 22 wealthy countries that do not offer paid family and medical leave, which is a travesty since we are the wealthiest country in the nation. He also wants to protect the vulnerable American citizens by expanding Social Security and VA benefits. Now your biggest question, how are we going to pay for this? That would be through tax reform. He wants to tax corporations their fair share, limiting the chance that they have of putting their money in tax havens where they don't pay any taxes. He also wants to tax Wall Street, 
we paid $700 billion to bail them out, and they made $40 million, or, I'm sorry, $40 billion the very first quarter of the year 2014. Over three, three out of four of those institutions that we bailed out are now 80% bigger. He also wants a free, fair immigration policy and supports the DREAM Act, which guarantees that American citizens and immigrants can all agree, um, children that were brought here by their parents when they were children now have the chance to become citizens. He was the first mayor to have equality. He did the Gay Pride Day. He served, in, he was a mayor for eight years, House of Representative for 17 years, and Independent Senator of Vermont for nine years. He also served as the Chairman of Senate Committee on Veterans Affairs for two years. Okay, and Bernie is good.